Thanks for coming, guys. Dr. Biden, do you support the pardon of Hunter? Clearly, there was pressure inside the family. We were told really in recent weeks that uh, Dr. Jill Biden, First Lady Jill Biden, was very supportive of uh, the president doing something like this. The president was not sure. But we clearly have seen now he has come to this a decision to uh, pardon his son, Hunter. Just after that plea deal fell through, this is what you said. I want to watch. Do you think a pardon for his son would be a mistake? Yes. And I don't think there's any chance that President Biden is going to do that, unlike his predecessor, who pardoned all of his friends uh, and anyone who had any access to him. And I think you see that in this case where he kept on and Merrick Garland kept on a Trump appointed U.S. attorney to investigate the president's son. If there is not an indication of the independence of the Department of Justice beyond that, I, I don't know what what we could look for. What does that feel like uh, watching your back then reassuring people that Biden was not going to issue a pardon for his son. Yeah, and I think that if that plea agreement and that plea deal had gone through, uh, there would be no pardon. Uh, that was a satisfactory outcome. It had already fallen that through. Only was... Sorry? Well, the, when you reacted, this was when the deal had fallen through. And I hear what you're saying. I will say, way to go, Joe. Um, let me be the first one to congratulate the president for deciding to do this, because at the end of the day, we know that we have a 34 count convicted felon that is about to walk into the White House. So for anyone that wants to clutch their pearls now because he decided that he was going to pardon his son, I would say take a look in the mirror. Um, because mm -hmm. we also know that when it comes to this cabinet, this cabinet has more people accused of sexual assault than any incoming cabinet probably ever in the history of America. So we are living in unprecedented times, and we know that this was completely political. Well, this is something that President Biden and this White House were adamant that he would not do. But this morning, with just weeks left in office, the president is now protecting his only living son with a sweeping pardon. Overnight, a sudden reversal. President Biden issuing a full and unconditional pardon of his son Hunter, ending a legal saga that the president now says was politically motivated. Biden had long promised he would not interfere with his son's cases, telling our David Muir in June such a pardon was not an option. Will you accept the jury's outcome, their verdict, no matter what it is? Yes. And have you ruled out a pardon for your son? Yes. But now Biden says he believes his son was selectively and unfairly prosecuted.